Axe War, this time an adoption bullet war. Um, apart from my match against uh, Captain Price, I think this is the first time we get an adoption uh, bullet war. So yeah, it's going to be exciting. I saw him here is really down on time against Mr. Dr. 1000 IQ and he is in terrible shape. Okay, <laughs> a, a time burner as they say is thrown in there. And yes, Dr. 1000 IQ wins the first game. So Dr. 1000 IQ needs to win the standard uh, amount of bullet games, 25 bullet games in a row. If he's able to win 25 bullet games in a row, he is able to win the match. And uh, thankfully I think the stream is doing okay now. We had a funny camera issue at <laughs> the start. But it seems okay now. Yeah, and uh, hopefully not dropping any frames or anything. So yeah, all, all looks okay. Anyway, so what about this position? B4 is not possible because you take, and now Dr. Anthosic, Knight C4 is killer. Yeah, now Bishop takes, no, Bishop takes F3 doesn't win anything. Mm, maybe just Bishop takes D, uh, Knight takes D2. Okay, he's not taking. Yeah, the Knight is strong as it is. This Knight is doing a nice job protecting B6 as well. What's the knockout punch? No need to find anything, just pick up pawns. Ooh, he misses that the rook is hanging. Yeah, and Dr. 1000 IQ is really flying in terms of time. Now, something I don't like is that this match is casual. We don't like casual matches over here. Everything has to be rated. More excitement. But okay. Casual it is. I think uh, Dr. 1000 IQ... If the match is going to keep going like this, I mean, he's completely dominating. Dr. Nathan's like, you look at the clock time, look at the position, he's dominating in all facets. I need to remove these for people who have my affliction. Okay, no stalemates, no stalemates. Yeah, just keep pushing the pawn, he resigns. Wisely so. Hello, Nick, no, uh, no t long time, no see. Okay, so back to this thing, Kato English stuff. Symmetrical for now. Dr. Nathan's IQ pushes in the center. Knight BD7 is a bit strange, but he wants to go with knight C5. Okay, this ni these knight maneuvers, I mean, he's trying to put the this knight sitting pretty here. But they're kind of not hitting any real squares. And now Dr. Nathan's IQ is starting to push through in the center. But he needs to be careful. This is hanging. Okay, so this is taken care of. Um, now he takes, okay, e4, yeah, white has a nice position here with the pawns here and the, the bishop having big scope. Um, trading so much, I don't know, d6 now, yeah, that, that really undermines the rook and now you can take like this. Isn't this game over? Oh, he can take with the queen. Ah. Ah. Okay, so he keeps the pin. Yeah, that that's uh, that was a big miss. Okay, but <laughs> as we're saying that, he immediately removes the protection over here. So this is Gonzo. What's the most accurate? Yeah, he finds that check. And there is no way to prevent mate apart from this. Yeah, well, the rook is covering this. Uh, wow, that's beautiful coordination. Yeah, that collapsed very quickly. I mean... He he had a nice tactic there, Mr. Isam, but uh, that immediately failed. Okay, Dr. Thousand IQ going for an endgame here. I would say White is, of course, completely okay with that. Not completely okay, but I mean, he doesn't have any issues. And this knight might be annoying if it comes here. But okay, well, Dr. Thousand IQ is planning this. I think maybe B3 could have been a consideration. The spin doesn't really do that much, having said that, but now he wants to remaneuver this. Bishop a6 protecting b7. And he wants to get this going. Okay, but he's trading all... Wow, yeah. Knight c5 finally. We've talked about this ages ago. <laughs> and now knight c5 appears on the board. By ages ago, of course, I mean a couple of moves. No, not a couple of moves. Quite some moves ago. But anyway, okay, so... This is not the optimal way to play, because if you mess up some few pawns, you could draw this. And a draw 
of course, uh, secures match victory for Mr. Isam. Isam only needs one draw out of 25 bullet games. It might seem a bit unfair if we compare it with Blitz, because with, in Blitz it's only 10. But I mean, bullet games last uh, much... Uh, uh, are uh, much shorter and uh, and uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> Got a tongue twist over there. Yeah, so bullet games are overall shorter and uh, it's easy to pick up a streak if you're not careful. If you're on the losing side, it's easy to get tilted and the the stronger side there's there are 400 rating points difference between Doctor One Thousand like you. There's a 400 rating point difference be between Dr. 1000 like you and Mr. Isam and I mean that should be enough for uh, for 25 games to show. And yeah here, like he, he has the option to win on time every game because he's so much faster, he finds the moves so much quicker, he finds the tactics so much quicker. So yeah especially in bullet I mean this isn't such a tough task. We see 4-0 now and to be honest like Isam is having some chances, but not much usually. He's getting outplayed, and uh, on the clock, he's also getting outplayed. But still, he's playing reasonably well for the rating point difference. Okay, Doctor on Thons like you completely winning uh, the spawn. I mean, completely attacking it and just winning it outright. Now, this is something you might want to watch out for. Uh, bishop b2 is just helping the rook. You wanted to double anyway. This is don't force your opponent to play a move he wants to play anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is a very simple end game. You're up how many pawns? Okay, I, yeah, this is still fine. You just push the c pawn to victory. This was maybe slightly questionable. Okay, he's not really doing any effort to stop this. Yeah, but now if Rook takes b5, you can't take. You can probably take now and push here. That wins. Yeah, that wins. Let's see if he wants to go for that. Takes here, wins, yes. Okay, he knows this. Yeah, because two pawns on the 6th, they're stronger than a Rook. This is... Like, I just knew it wins immediately because this is a well-known chess principle. So two pawns on the sixth are stronger than a rook. Yeah, and he even manages to get two queens. Okay, one of them is gone, but yeah, that's easily enough. Look at the time. Yeah, 5-0. 20 games remaining for adoption to take place. And uh, the way this is going, there is some pressure at some points, but not enough, I feel. So let's see. Okay, this position, eh, oh, but dropping d4, yeah, I was going to say this is a bit weakened, but yeah, dropping d4 is not optimal, now you have these ideas at some point, not now, not ever it seems, okay, maybe this isn't too bad for, oh, but dropping here? I don't know. Maybe actually, you know what? When you get rid of this weak pawn, it's honestly much better for uh, for white uh, for black. He got rid of his weakness. He's more comfortable now. <laughs> he doesn't have a pawn to constantly tend to. He doesn't have something he that's always itching on his mind. Oh my God, the e6 is weak. It's gone. It's gone. Good riddance. Good riddance. So yeah, that's quite uh, quite good. Should be careful of threefold here, <laughs> Dr. On Thaws like you. Okay, goes queen d8. Um, yeah, this is starting to get a bit dangerous with the bishop here. If you could imagine this, maybe. Not that it's doing much, but it's a consideration. It's a consideration. Yeah, I would, uh, in bullet, I would honestly play uh, <laughs> queen h6 just for the lulls. <laughs> Oh, that's a... B no! <laughs> what? Why not check here? <laughs> what in the world? Why not check there and win the queen? Okay. Okay. That's quite weird. Okay. 
What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now... Wow, this is quite a weird opening. Queen d8 back, admitting that queen e7 check. I mean, why did you do queen e7 check if you're going queen d8? A bit strange. Okay, I would want to push d4. This is... I don't really know about opposing this bishop. Okay, he protects this bishop for what it's worth. And now this knight before is actually quite strong. But going back? No, trade here. I don't get what he's doing. He's moving pieces to... <laughs> Uh, I saw that is he's moving pieces uh, to good squares and uh, and then he's messing it up. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> okay, I forgot uh, about uh, Doctor Anton's like you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a big problem. I think we might be affecting uh, Isam too, though, because I think he's oof, ouch, that's a fork, fork down. Yes, he resigns. Seven zero. Yeah, it's it's not it's not close at many points. The closest game was the end game. Was it was that game three? I think. Yeah, I think that was game three. That was the closest game. Apart from that, he's doing okay, but uh, yeah, I think so, Nick. Um, he's doing okay, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes, like he just gets destroyed in some games. That's obviously a cause. Uh, that's obviously caused by the rating difference. Okay, but here he's not doing... He's not doing badly at all, in fact. Now, the doubled pawns I like with the, the combination of these knights, but ooh, look at this. Some nice some nice attack here. Yeah, it's, it's not much. <laughs> yeah, but with the rook coming here, I kind of may even like white. He's threatening this. He wants to play this. It's not like a big threat or anything. Yeah, white is trading with queens off. Mm. He's trying desperately to, to keep queens off. Now, now this move really doesn't do anything. The knight is protecting. Um, but then again, the check doesn't do much. He's opening up, but he's losing the spawn. And do we have a threat? Like, maybe this is a threat combined with this somehow. These could be threats, maybe. Okay, he takes and king takes. Okay, but now check. Uh, this doesn't work. The bishop is covering. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, white is fine. Okay, I, I see. See, Dr. 1000 like you, he's messing this up, to be honest. Of course, white is much better now. Um, ooh, this hurts though. <laughs> That's a big check. But Queen E4 check. Oh no, that doesn't work. Um, now, okay, he covers it. Yeah, he's going to lose on time. Oop. Ouch. <laughs> I think he disconnected or something? Ooh, he disconnected, yeah. Because he wasn't moving at the end, like the last second. Okay, I think he's back. Okay, Dr. Anthos, like you going for this uh, space expansion on the queen side, just gaining queen side space. 8 0. Yeah, how long have we been streaming for? 15 minutes. So, yeah, that's the, about the expected time. He's playing much quicker, though. Dr. Anthos, like you. That's to be expected in an, in, in an adoption match that the adopting side uh, will, uh, will try to. Um, we'll play quicker. Uh, can we compare the connections? Sure. Um, Isam has a good connection. Dr. Anthons like you has an excellent connection. Yep. So yeah, even 
<laughs> Even the connection is in favor of Dr. Onthaz IQ, which is kind of sad. What's up? What's up, Halim? <laughs> he won't be able to adopt? Oof. Okay. Now, the way the, this match is going, um, like the biggest trouble Dr. Onthaz IQ was in wasn't that big, so... To be honest, I think if this goes on, if this goes on, I think he will be able to adopt. Um, whoa, what? He had this. Okay, <laughs> yeah, but see here he has, like he has tactics, he might have a better position now. But look at the time, look at the time. It's It's impossible with this time. When you're the weaker player and you have such a big time disadvantage, you can forget up, forget about it. Okay, but Dr. Anthaz like you, this is a very poor job by him. Yeah, look at Isam, he's fl Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that, okay, that was pretty close. Yeah, now, now, now this is turning. Now Hal there's a, there's a chance Halim is right. Because if this is the way Dr. 1000 IQ is going to play, this doesn't bode well for him. So if these last few games, or last few, no, last couple of games, they were, yeah, a couple of games. If these, um, the, the rhythm of the play continues being like this, then Isam definitely has chances to, uh, to not get adopted. But uh, if this is just a fluke and Dr. Anthaz IQ can show us the level he showed previously, I don't think he has any chances. Uh, I saw him that is to not get adopted. Yeah, here he's losing a pawn and more than that, he's losing two pawns. Yeah, and the position, <laughs> he's losing two pawns. And uh, black gets the compensation. <laughs> That's a usual joke people say. And now f3 is dropping, the queen is dropping, everything is dropping. Just pat sir US, hello. Uh, do you want to play two bullet games? No man, we're watching uh, Dr. 1000 like you now. Um, I'm not up for it after the stream because I don't have my mouse as well. So I'm not going to play on touchpad. Okay, so here, this position looks very symmetrical, oh, oh yeah, this works, <laughs> I was I was a bit taken aback, I thought queen takes e5, but yeah, this works, this, this does work as well, I mean, is white achieving a lot here, f3, keeping this bishop at all costs, but kind of making it a bit bad, huh, I don't know, Okay, now, now White's plan makes complete sense. Yeah, now e5. Yes, e5 looks particularly strong. e6 check. GG. Game's over. 11-0. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> That, that game was a bit of a train wreck. Yeah, we're almost at the halfway point in terms of adoption. 25-0 is the score Dr. 1000 IQ needs. And to be honest, the, these two games, uh, this might be, have been a, a fluke. This might have been a fluke. Okay, H6. I would play knight takes e3, definitely now because you lose a pawn. <laughs> that was missed by Dr. 1000 IQ. Yeah, maybe not such a fluke, huh? Isam is playing quite well. No, no, Isam is playing quite well. And look at Dr. 1000 IQ, what's he... Whoa, all of this time to play such a... Oh god, this move reeks. Terrible move. E5! Oof, look at the tactics now. Ah. But hey, the, wait. We can't take here because rookie 7, so... 
Huh. Okay, but knight e4 is very questionable. He should have protected d3. Yeah, now now white is uh, black is better. Actually, I wasn't so sure due to the pawn, but now definitely black is better. Ooh! Shoot! <laughs> that's a big miss. But that, that's a very sneaky one. That's very sneaky. Let's see if Isam will be able to convert this. No, losing the knight though? He didn't need to lose it that way. Oh, he definitely didn't need to lose it that way. Oh, that was, that was crazy. He could have at least tried knight a5. Yeah, now it's only an exchange. Now, now I think Dr. One Thousand like you will be able to win. Takes bishop c4. Bishop c4. Oh, he wants to do the trick. Very smart. Very smart. That's why we call him Dr. One Thousand like you. This is, this is very intelligent, guys. He didn't do bishop c4 because he would simply protect the, the bishop there. Uh, the pawn there. He thought, okay, I'll move it there. Maybe he'll take and he'll fall for the tactic. <laughs> And he did. Wow, that was very smart by Dr. 1000 IQ. Has to be commended. Yeah, and... Uh, that was... that. This... Yeah, the, I mean... Isam not winning this has to be a big blow for him. Knight h5 check, ruined the pawn structure. Nice desperado over there. Very nice play by Dr. 1000 IQ. He can take b7 whenever he wants, okay. He, he plays b3 to not allow, like, bishop takes a2. So, again, very nice. He should be careful a bit. Okay, no, nothing is happening with bishop h3. All seems well. Mm, yeah, keep the bishops. The bishops help white out. Yeah, now two pawns on the queen side. That's That's a bit annoying. By I saw him here. Rook B1? Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice play by I saw him. Okay, be careful. Ooh, he drops the bishop. Yeah. That's game over. That's game over. He's preparing some sort of mate. No need to, though. That was a bit strange. Bishop G2, but okay. Ooh. <laughs> He missed the bishop, probably, yeah. Don't stalemate, wow, that was... <laughs> yeah, that scared me a bit. Okay, but he wins it. He wins it, we're at the halfway point, basically, now. And Dr. 1000 like you is doing quite well. Again, this very same variation. This time, Dr. 1000 like you plays knight d7, which is completely insane. <laughs> Queen f3, nice. And now like d5, d5 was a killer shot. It may even be still killer. No, but now it's it's not so much. Okay, so material is level. It has nice squares to work with. Takes. And get the rook in, but don't drop checkmate. Okay, you can do this safely now. G6 wasn't necessary, you could have done that. Okay, but it kind of transposes. Yeah, now, ooh, mate. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was pretty... Pretty... Dire. Lagging like heck. Chess Patser, is that me or, uh, or you? So we played uh, some bullet games. Okay, how many is this? Yeah. Dr. 1000 IQ just up 7 billion pawns over here. Queen d5 I like, okay. c5, c6 maybe. Maybe. Yeah, rook d1 is probably nicer. Rook b6 we don't care about. He takes e7. Ah, he wants to take f6. That's That's very nice. Yeah, 14-0. Not leaving anything in doubt. This tactic works, yeah. I thought there was a rook b1 check, but no. Yeah, Dr. On Thumbs like you, not leaving anything in doubt. Look at queen f3, protecting everything. Mm, brutal. Queen f6. 
this is stronger. I I was trying to go for some sort of mate, but yeah, this is also mating. <laughs> he could have tried the uh, queen takes c4 at the end there, but okay. Resigning is also <laughs> completely makes complete sense. This I don't really like for black. Of course, white has quite a decent edge over here. Now dropping b2, I don't really know about. Yeah, now now he's just up a comp oof. The exchange is falling as well. Not the worst thing to happen though. But yeah, with bishop c6, now your bishop is poised to trade itself for this bishop. And yeah, when this comes, okay, he prevents. The, yeah, this 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 and this is falling. This is game over basically. Bishop d1, gg. The bishop is falling. Wow. <laughs> Uh, the, the last few games, see this is the rhythm we're talking about. Dr. 1000 IQ has some brilliant rhythm now. And yeah, that means... Uh, that means it's going to be very tough for Isam here. 16-0. 16-0 and we're only 26 minutes in. He's barely taking any time, Dr. 1000 IQ. He only needs 9 more games and the match is over. But for Isam he only needs a draw. And he can he can win the the portion. Dr. Wanthaz like you got 2 tries. If Isam draws this game or wins, Dr. Wanthaz like you will have another 25 uh, game set to win. And if he doesn't do that, he loses. So Isam has to draw twice or win twice in the entire match. So far he's failed, 16-0. Hmm. Oh, that's a nice one. But yeah, queen, queen here protects everything. Rook d7. Game over. Game over. Queen d4 check would end the game there. 17-0. Not leaving much in doubt. The games are lasting less than a minute almost. Yeah, so. Okay, again this line. Dr. 1000 IQ kind of improving here. Yes, he doesn't allow. And now Queen takes d4 check. Why didn't he play Queen takes d4 check? Okay, this becomes... Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> what? Okay, he's going for an exchange sack. Not something I like. Who challenges for adoption? Is it the low rated player or the higher one? It doesn't matter. Anyone can challenge anyone. This is terrible for Dr. 1000 IQ. You know what, guys? No, it's too early to call this. C3, yeah, C3. It's too early to call this, but I have a very bad feeling. Queen g8, very nice move, or queen g3, just maintaining contact so that this doesn't happen. Actually, you always have a check, so. Hmm. Can this be played? Yes, I was about to. <laughs> uh, a 4? Not sure this works. Oh! <laughs> I thought the same thing Dr. 1000 like you did and we both fell for the same. <laughs> Ouch. Ouchies. Oh guys, I think, I think he might not be getting this. Check. No. Okay, check. Now he has some chances. Hold on. He has some chances now if he's quick. If he's quick, he has some chances. Okay, but he only needs a draw. He can get a draw. He could have gotten a draw. Oh. Oh, God. Hey, Sam, you can't not win this, man. He times out. I don't know if that was connection or just frustration. Oh, poor hey, Sam. That was the game for him. That was the absolute closest. You can't get any closer than that. He... Ah, what a shame. Okay, w I think it's time to switch to Isam's perspective, right? Let's switch to his perspective. 
totally and completely winning man yeah this is some sort of line actually this is some sort of line but do you play this line with the fiend kato that's the catlin uh, really my catlin uh, knowledge is shoddy <laughs> i don't know okay black looks just much worse i would say some pressure perhaps uh okay e6 preventing knight d5 giving up the file though why did he do that i don't get that now knight b5 or knight e4 yeah if you're having to defend Rook b5, nice. Okay, a6 maybe? No a6, okay. Mm, now this is just e3 at any point. Rook b7, yes. No, no. He's going to lose this, definitely. Bad pawns without compensation, exactly. Yeah, there's nothing here. GG. Going back with rook c8. That's a bad sign. <laughs> okay, ch no, insert the check and rook c1. Yeah, this is just easy. I think he's playing out of frustration. Yeah, 19 0. Yeah, that was the last game, must have gotten to him somehow. It was a big miss. Okay. Now Dr. 1000 like you just going haywire over here, winning e4. This bishop starts becoming questionable, while this bishop has brilliant scope. And black, uh, white is much to be is, is to be much preferred. I wanted to do this. Okay, Dr. 1000 like you may be trading too much. Now c5 can be played. Not now. But at any point c5 will strike. Queen e7 and now c5. I don't really understand this for white. Okay, with a 4 f5, it kind of makes more sense. But still, c5 cannot be played. Attacking the rook. Equalish. Yeah, kind of. f5, though, now. Uh, I wanted to play f5 because of back rank mates. Ooh! Ouch! <laughs> Yikes! He was just better. He was just better in this game. Poor Isam, blundering a rook like that. Yeah, that was that was a big miss. Again, they're playing this line. C six. Kind of allowing knight d6. I would have played knight d6. <laughs> Dr. 1000 like you going for some funny knights over here. They're not really the best. I don't really know what they're doing here. Um, yeah, 20 sec difference. Yeah, like... You need to be up on time against uh, Dr. 1000 like you. Because if you're down on time against him, you can forget it. Especially being the weaker player. Look at here, he's down by like 10 seconds. And he's down a pawn. He's trying to trade. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, well, that won the game anyway. It forced a queen, uh, a king and pawn endgame. 21 0. Four more games, the match is over. Again, this setup I don't really understand. White should be much better. Okay, as long uh, and black isn't playing c5. Okay, he's he's doing it now. Er earlier he wasn't playing c5, so. Hmm. Okay, he trades these and now gets out of the pen, but enters another one. <laughs> uh, Kirkanos, hello. What's up, Kirkanos? 
Yeah, you're about to witness. I think we're we're headed to a Doctor One Thousand IQ adoption. That uh, that nineteenth game by uh, by Asam. Had he like he he got so close. I mean, not not winning that. That puts it big dent. And now if Rook B one, Knight C three, takes on E two. Hmm, nothing here. Wow. I'm surprised there's there's no tactic. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Ron Thumbs like you choosing to go for the trades, but honestly this is helping. I mean Isam, I keep forgetting we're watching from Isam's perspective. Yeah, this is helping him. Yeah, this is game over. Other game. <laughs> yeah, this hurts. This hurts at this point. 23-0. Two more games, two more. Okay, e4, c5. This line. <laughs> All right. Uh, at least he wasn't tempted to play e5 there and allow knight c6, which is a very theoretical discussion. So now, yeah, now this is okayish for white. No big advantage for black. No advantage probably. But c3, yeah, but you allow b4. Black is uh, black is going to collapse the queen side. Look at these. Look at these pieces. Yeah, this is not good. And now a fork. Write it off. <laughs> Chilling with fishy fishy. <laughs> that that should be the name of a of a show or something. <laughs> Yeah, just write this game off. It's Gonzo. He even trades on c8. Like, at least don't trade on c8. You're down a rook, man. This check is... Why was this... Oh, this check can't be played. <laughs> but maybe this then. Bishop here. Okay. Check and pick up here at any point can be played. No need to. Oof. GG yo H5 yes he resigns <laughs> One more game guys How long have you been how have you guys been playing chess? I've been playing for eight years. Where do I go? Where do I go to show you on the camera? <laughs> eight years and three. Wait seriously, I can't So here I have to do it like this. <laughs> Took me a while. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> yeah, eight years. <laughs> Go left, I know, man. I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> I had this mirror effect. You just started awesome. Awesome, man. Glad to hear. Dr. 1000 like you has been playing for I think 6 years He started when he was 9 He's like 15 now Yes, he is a prodigy <laughs> This game also not so good for Mr. Isam He's down a pawn and the c7 pawn is weak A6 is weak as well and due to these two pawn weaknesses, when these two pawns are picked up, these two pawns become queens. Yeah, wow, about the doctor on thumbs like you, right? <laughs> okay, he's recovering. No. Ouch. Yeah, that's one way to end this match. Adoption. Blows my mind how kids pick up chess so easily. Man, it's like a language. It's like a language. Like, try learning uh, Chinese, Mandarin Chinese at... Uh, at 25 or something. And try to teach your kid at, like, 2 years old Mandarin. Of course, he's going to pick it up much quicker than you will. The earlier, the better, yes. Exactly. 
Yeah, that was... Uh, Isam got so close, like, in that game. Oh, God, like... Where was this game? Where was this game? Not this one. I think this one. No. This one. Was it... I can't... Wait, hold on. Three... Was it like... It was this one? Not this one. Maybe this one. Let's see if that was the one. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome, Dr. Antons like you. You're 43. Yeah, well, at 43, man, you still have quite some time. You can look forward. Maybe you can. If you start now very seriously at 43, you can at 50 maybe make expert in seven years. It's possible. If you don't have a very busy job and of course at 43 you probably have a family and a job so it's good it's, uh, that also takes a lot of time yeah this game not winning this game yeah he even picks up the bishop anything he even traded here I, I don't know how could he not win this he had it. Was this a forced draw? It was a forced draw, right? He just can't escape the draw. Okay, he can. Yes, he can. Ah, uh, he can, yeah. Okay, but you can't... Like here, what's the time situation here? It's equal time. You have an extra rook. Just try to push the pawn or something. I don't know. Thirty nine minutes, what a record. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the stream didn't last very long. I I doubt it to be honest in bullet. It's uh, like someone needs to play very quickly. You were play like some games you finished with like fifty seconds and I think it's going to take a while for this record to be broken. <laughs> Yeah, it must suck, it must suck, Kirkanus. Playing online isn't as uh, exciting as over the board. I quite like it, I'm a big fan of online chess, but uh, I do understand the sentiment, of course. Like over the board chess, um, if you had like one time to play, uh, like... Uh, if you wanted to choose once a week to play chess, you of course would want to play over the board. Of course, now with the, with the current situation, it's a bit harder. Okay, guys, um, I shall be ending the stream now, since Doctor Monthans like you got his adoption in, and uh, tomorrow we have the streamers tournament. Let me show you guys in the chat. I think it's advertised on the homepage already. Um, so it's the streamers battle. Yeah. I'm going to be playing for the Arab team this time. Um, Pengu I'm also part of Penguin GM fan club, chess network, and... Uh, wait, I'm part of something else. I'm part of four of these. Hold on. Oh, you guys can't see that. Yeah, King's Crusher, I'm... I'm also part of King's Crusher team. King's Crusher and Chess Network, I have a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Uh, gratitude for. They, they helped me a lot in my game during my formative years. And Penguin is a, is a friend of mine. Um, yeah, we've had lots of fun during the 27, 2017, 2018, 2019 period. 2018, 27, 2017, 2018 mostly. When variants were like, I was more involved in variants and organization. I played as a kid against family members, but forgot a good deal of tactics. Yeah, also like your family members aren't probably professionals, so it's not going to help you that much. I, we all played as kids, I think. I used to play chess like five times a year against my dad sister sometimes 
and uh, I wouldn't say they <laughs> those uh, really helped me at all. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be closing off the stream. Kirkanos, uh, thank you for joining us. And Nick, Dr. Monthans, thank you. Bid you an adieu. Goodbye, guys.